I I don't know. Um, but things like that, and uh, but they would take advantage of the things that. Well, for fucking six, seven-year-old kids don't know what they don't know how to do, do things like turn off the. Uh, Oh shit, I shot you. So the problem just got worse and worse, and they were brought to a lawsuit over it. A lawsuit that they eventually lost because, flat out, they broke the law. YouTube broke the law, and they were fined over a hundred million dollars, which sounds like a shitload to you and me, but they make over a billion a year, so... So it's pocket change to them. And, oh shit, dude. Fuck. You're good to go. Thank you. And the end result of this is that now you have to uh, decide whether your channel is aimed at kids or whether it's not aimed at kids. Uh, that, that's fine, my channel's not aimed at kids, you all know that. Like, I play video games like what this, hell, that are just ultra-violent, and it's anywhere. not for kids. You'd think we would have figured out some kind of goddamn defense by now. It's Sweet. Yeah. More cockpits. But, uh, there are two Lucas things that up? they come say. <laughs> the list of things that make your channel, uh, that, that could potentially have your channel listed as aimed at kids is very, very vague. And it includes two things that are worrisome. One of them is uh, playing video games. It's, it's just that vague. Doesn't matter what age group the video games are, you could be playing Metal Gear Solid or Fallout 3 where you can like enslave children because that game is way fucked up. Like, literally, you can take kids from Little Lamplight and sell them into slavery. Looks and like we need to split up. <laughs> so I can't believe it lets you do that, especially in the newer ones. Yeah, left path or right path? Uh, I guess right. Yeah. Uh, Phoenix, you and it, uh, in the old right. ones, you could just Dominic straight up kill left. children. Yes, sir. That wouldn't go over too well on... Uh, these days, or in that type of game in general, like the first person, more realistic perspective. Yeah. Hostiles. But there's all kinds of like, like, like just saying video games is so fucking vague, and like there are so many video games that are very obviously not aimed at children, and Fire them. and this is a gaming channel, so I'm a little bit concerned that someone's gonna be like, oh, gaming channel. Aimed at kids. It's gonna fuck over like most of YouTube. Yeah, yeah there's like... a lot of people fearing that. Ah, nice. Got him. Okay. Um, the other thing that applies to this channel is. Uh, Having a cartoon mascot that could appeal to children. And, yeah, I kind of do have that. So, I do not want my channel mascot to go away. I like him, I think he's cute. I think he's well, I think he was very well drawn by the artist that drew him. Uh, 
But if they're going to say that just having him means I have to be labeled as a kid's channel, I might have to get rid of him. I don't want to do that. That would suck. So I might have to get rid of my channel mascot. And I might just get, get kicked off the platform entirely. So I've been stressing out big time over this. I know this isn't a job, but I have been doing this for years and I enjoy it. I don't want to just stop because YouTube decided to fuck over their creators. And I'm not going to stop. Um, I'm going to keep uploading here as long as I can, and I'm going to upload everything to BitChute as well. You want to take the turret? So that has really messed up my sleeping schedule. Like, I my sleeping schedule is royally fucked because of YouTube and their changes and policies that are coming up soon. I don't want it to get to the December 10th, which is the date that they're implementing the new terms of service, and just wake up and find that years and years of work in my life is just gone in the blink of an eye. You know? That shit's heartbreaking. It, it, it would fucking... Ugh. Not only would it piss me off, but yes, it would break my fucking heart. So, YouTube is... De basically, YouTube's destroying its fucking platform. Still. And, the, and it's like accelerating because they decided to break the fucking law and not do anything about it for years. Squad. Any word from Alpha? And of course, when they do something wrong, guess who gets fucked over? Roger that. Dom, Venus, so goddamn creators. Carmine and I will stay back and some rest. What about Alpha? We'll save him if we can. So I wanted to talk about the uh, Sonic trailer as well. Are you? So you saw the new Sonic? The... I'm, I'm sure everybody knows this by now, but they unveiled the new Sonic trailer with the redesign of Sonic the Hedgehog, and... Dude, they fucking fixed it. Yeah, they did. Sonic looks, Sonic looks so good in this trailer. I, I love, like, some, some Sonic purists are like, why does he have fur? Because he's a fucking animal, dude. Like, they're trying to go for a more realistic look to fit in with a more realistic world that this game is going for. That's why he looks the way he does. And I'm fine with that. I think he looks great. But for the most part, people have received it very, very well. Yeah, I can on I can say with all honesty, I look at the new redesign and I go, you know what? That's the Sonic I grew up with. That's the Sonic I love. Bring it. Killer. I see you, asshole. Okay. No, 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 no. Get behind the pillar. Oh my god. Get 
Got him. Where are you? Over by the turret. You're good to go. Gotcha. Where do we have a grub hole? <laughs> but it's not just that Sonic was redesigned for this trailer. Everything about this trailer is much, much better than the first one. Like, the first one for some bizarre reason decided it wanted to use Gangster's Paradise. And I can't imagine in what universe that sounded like a good idea. Because it, it, it's just bizarre. I was gonna do that. All clear. So yeah, uh, the, the first trailer, I mean, on, it wasn't just how Sonic looked that was uh, bad about it. It, it. The entire thing was just awful. For the song yeah, choice, pretty, pretty obscene. to the humor, to the look of Sonic, everything about it sucked. And this trailer is, it still doesn't make the movie look amazing. You good? But it looks a lot better. And the humor in this trailer is better. The song choice in this trailer is better. They went with uh, Sonic, uh, Super Sonic, which is an obvious choice. And then they went with uh, uh, some cover. I, I, did, I don't know who it's by, but some cover of Blitzkrieg Bob, which is like a kind of, which, you know, has that upbeat, like, exciting, fast riff to it. That, yeah. It's like you you, you you could listen to that and go, yeah, I could picture Sonic listening to this. Nice. I just got an achievement. I got two achievements. Uh, and one, the most impressive shot to me in this trailer this way. Sweet. was the uh, was the opening shot where they showed uh, Green Hill Zone or what appeared yeah. to be Green Hill Zone? Because, oh man, Green Hill Zone looked fucking good. That looked like they took the, the a template from the Genesis game and like, let's make this. Which is awesome. Awesome. I was way impressed with how, with that opening shot of the trailer where he was out. in his own world. Because it looks like the, looks like a, what is the name of Sonic's world? Is it Mobius? Yeah, I think so. Something like that. Yeah, that Mobius sounds right. Uh, uh, I, I never really read the comics. I only went with the... I think the world got its name in the comics, actually. And, and I never really read the Archie comics. I used to, and I was like, yeah, that's what I have a shit ton of them. It got kind of weird. That's what I expect. Yeah, well, a lot of the plot, Sonic plots do get uh, Sonic in that show. Oh, I fucked up the reload. You need class or something. Damn! Oh, the soldier needs our help. Get down those stairs. 
Okay. Here's the stairs. Get out of the way. Hey, Coltrane. State your name, soldier. Private Augustus Cole, Alpha Squad, sir. Cole? As in the Coltrane? Yeah, that's right. Where's the rest of your squad? The city tight, over in the tomb. We're Delta Squad. We're here to retrieve the sonic device. And to get you guys out of here. Hell yeah, we've been waiting for the chopper. But the radios don't work for shit. Sir. We noticed. It's the Cedars. They're jamming our transmissions. Then we have to make those Cedars our top priority, sir. Agreed. We need to reestablish radio contact with Control ASAP. Now, above all else with the, the Sonic trailer, what I really uh, like about it is, is that th th they fucking listen to us, right? Oh, yeah. And, how often does that happen that they're like, play. we hear your complaints and we're going to delay the movie from a holiday slot and spend months fixing it? How often does that even happen? Yeah, it's like that's a one in a million right there. Yeah, that, that tells me that uh, this isn't just a... Uh, this isn't just a paycheck to the, like the director and the team involved in this. This is something they took a they took a bit more serious than that. And I still think like the movie will probably be dumb and probably won't get reviewed well and all that stuff. But you know what? I'm gonna thank them. I'm gonna go see it, and that'll be my thanks. Yeah, just the fact that that goes a long way. Yeah, we'll th we'll go see it, and then we'll do a drive cast talking about it. How about that? Yeah, that's cool. Hold here, Jack. Decloak and rip this door. Oh, is this where you we run into those little guys? I think so. Oh, there's a tag back here. Oh, if you pick it up, I can't. Oh, there they come. Things are fast and I'm going. I mean, I can barely aim on. Yeah, that's the that's the annoying thing about uh, creatures like this. You can barely fucking aim with how fast they are. Ah, I fucked up the reload. So, yeah, yeah, that's what we're going to do, is we're going to go see it, and we're going to do a drive cast on it. I'm kind of looking forward to it. Like, I, the, the second trailer made it look, like, dumb, but fun. And that's about the most I could ask for from a project like this, is dumb, but fun. Like Sonic humor, pretty much. Yeah. And let's face facts, it's not the first time that Sonic has ever been involved in uh, plots that are dumb. No, this is far from his first. Just a lot of times the plots aren't also, the game they're attached to aren't you also, too. you know, Get over here fun. And take these weapons. 
Wait, what, 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 what's he want me to pick up? You two, what's get over here and take these weapons. Okay, wh what do you want me to pick up, dipshit? Hammer of Dawn. You two, get over here and take these weapons. But where is it? Oh, I got it. Oh, I got it. Oh, did I pick it up? Because I didn't pick it up. Do mind if I do? Where is it? Never where I'm at. Don't mind if I do. There we go. Oh, it's oh, it's the leecher out here. I remember this guy. Why are your weapons sold? Hold your trigger down. It's the satellite's planet range. Die. That didn't kill it. Oh shit. Got him. Okay. Yeah, whoa! Bring it on, baby! Nice! <laughs> Piece of shit. We should use the hammer of Don off time. It only works outside. And even then, only when the satellites are overhead. Basically, you lucked out. Control, this is Delta. Come in. Nope, they can't hear us. There must be more cedars. Let's go. There were other things I wanted to talk about. I'm trying to remember what the fuck they were. And I want to see The Mandalorian, but I don't want to play pay for Disney Disney Plus. To... Yeah, I heard it was good too. Yeah, I. From what a lot of people were saying, this is some of the best stuff that that's come out of. You gotta move. Disney Star Wars, take that to mean what you will, because that does include the uh, uh, shitty Last Jedi and the below, uh, and the very, very average uh, Solo, a Star Wars story. And a lot of people don't like, I, and I don't, I don't fully get it, but a lot of people do not like um, The Force Awakens either, and I'm like, okay, so, so you like uh, Rogue One... And I get liking Rogue One, but it's got problems that The Force Awakens does does not have. So why is it? Do you consider that to be the better film? I don't. I don't get it. I got the ball. Yeah, me either, honestly. Yeah.